All right, let's there you go. move there you go. from a discussion about the uh, U.S. managerial position to the Mexican managerial position. Oh, okay. Apparently, what? they're uh, pondering a coaching change as well. Uh, through the end, they're reporting that Mexican Federation leadership are considering bringing in Javier Vasco Aguirre. That's right, the same man that took Mexico to the 2002 and 2010 World Cup. I think that 2002 goal. Oh, I'm sorry about it. Uh, most recently at Mallorca in and they Spain. they made it out of the group stage. Zip it. Uh, they're going to uh, <laughs> bring him in for 2026. They're going to make Jimmy Lozano an assistant, according to this report, and then give Jimmy Lozano the team in 2030. Um, Herc, is this a good idea? It, it, it's uh, straight laughable and, and, quite frankly, humiliating for Jimmy Lozano. <laughs> like that this is circulating. There's... Can I a suggest something as a fan? I don't care if Jimmy Lozano okay. humiliated. This is, I would rather have Vasco than no, Jimmy. No, you wouldn't this is because weird. Vasco's the guy you bring to get you to the World Cup because you're so terrible that you almost didn't get to the World Cup. But once you're at the World Cup, what has he done for you? Listen. What has he done for Vasco's you? Vasco's a bombero. What do they, when do they show up? When the house is on fire. You tell Seth, me Mexican soccer house is not on fire right now? You're already for the World Cup. What has he done at the World Cup besides the biggest stain uh, in Mexican national history? He won the group in 2002. You talk about your 2010 World Cup. I'm asking what happened. All you talk about is we won the group with what England happened? in it. Da, 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 da. What happened? They won you a group with Italy in it. You lost to your rival. 2-0. They beat France in 2010. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. Till this day. Till this day. It's the moment that So you that think hurts. Vasco Aguirre is a bad coach? Till this day, it's the moment that hurts the Mexican national team fan the most. Is so keep Jimmy Lozano, you say? No. You don't have to keep Jimmy Lozano. But what you don't do is embarrass the individual, embarrass yourself by bringing in Javier Aguirre to coach this team and to relegate him, Jimmy Lozano, as an assistant coach with the promise of 2030 is your World Cup. It's an embarrassment, quite frankly. I the report is in-house. Mm -hmm. This is the Federation's network, in-house. So the fact that it's even out there is an embarrassment to but me. But I thought Gary was coming in as like a consultant to help. Uh, about a month and, and a half ago, that was kind yeah. of the talk. Then right. you know what happened? Then they, they went yeah. out in the group phase, Correct. and now we need more than the consultant. Now right. you might actually need a manager. Uh, Ale, put yourself in the shoes of a Mexican player. You're in the dressing room. They say, your coach is now your assistant, and this new guy is your coach. Uh, well, how do you react I, to that? I, I frankly... Uh, you're asking me from the perspective of a player, but I, I can tell you from the perspective of Jimmy Lozano, if I were Jimmy Lozano and this was actually a conversation, I would say, gentlemen, thank you very much. Good night. I'm going home. You can keep it because I'm not doing that. But, but I, we've had a conversation about Jimmy Lozano. Yeah. And you guys are telling me that he has very little experience, uh -huh. very little like success coaching at club level, at, at, at things thin like this. Resume, very right, thin resume. Right, very thin. So if, if you've got a resume like, like Ollie's talking about, you say, yeah, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. But if you have a guy that's still trying to kind of make mm. his way, are you Ooh. comfortable enough to just go... Okay, good. I, I'm with Dolly here. I mean, I, no, for sure. No, I'm saying 100%. I couldn't do it, but yeah. I'm worried about somebody that that isn't quite sure like, where does Jimmy where Lozano the next go job goes to from here. Jimmy Lozano could find. Listen, Jimmy Lozano was a candidate for the Houston Dynamo right before he ended up taking the the Olympic team. Okay, so there, and now with the Mexican national team, I don't care how bad it went. He's going to have options. It's respect here and the lack of self-respect by the Mexican Federation within themselves to think that this is okay. Javier Aguirre for himself even entertaining this. You know, to a colleague, I think it's low all around to everybody. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. You have a problem with Aguirre in this sense? And, if he were to sign up that, for this? And that his solution is the guy who was the manager now becomes the assistant. Do you think Javier Aguirre would do this if he were the other way around? No. Zero. 0.00% zero, zero well, chance. Yeah. No, it's not happening. Now, look, I'm not questioning Javier Aguirre's resume or his mm -hmm. ability to coach a team. I don't think that's the point of discussion here. The point of discussion is, is how the Federation are handling the situation and how you think that whoever was the manager going to be the assistant actually works. And actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. No. Would well, they, but would they be better off just firing Lozano? Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. But wouldn't Javier Aguirre also have his own assistant coaches that he wants to bring the in? The report so which is would that then... Javier Aguirre is asking for Lozano to be oh, an assistant. Oh, yeah. How kind. How kind. <laughs> Thank you. Javier, gracias. <laughs> gracias for considering me. Are you kidding me? Hey, you don't, you don't think Aguirre would make them better? Uh, aside from whether it's a program no, or not, I don't think this you is, don't listen, think he would listen, make this Mexico better? Listen, the, the biggest problem with this Mexican team... Um, wouldn't be coaching if you got the best possible coach. It would be the player pool. Okay, but a, a better coach is going to make bad players better, right? A better. And we're coach saying Aguirre is a bad much bad players better. You think Aguirre is? 
I think I get it as a much and better club, coach and than club Jimmy level, Lozano. Yes, because you've got so much time to work with them. You can implement a system at a national team level. I think a better coach would just rather get rid of these players and start. In but I think what he does bring in would be much more instant respect. I think there would be a I mean, there is a point, and I'm not saying that, you know, I, I agree with you on the talent Is it pool, hard to respect a guy 100%. with a thin resume? If I mean, Lozano had a good playing resume, so the, I think that must carry a weight with players, right? He's a national team or, you know, played in some sure. tournaments, whatever. It, it definitely helps when you've got both. Right, right. All right, well, uh, Jimmy Lozano, for now, still in charge of the Mexican national You, you seem okay with it. Maybe he'll be an assistant. Uh, I don't want Jimmy to continue. Okay. Whatever, what, to whatever end that, that is, I don't think Jimmy Lozano We'll, we'll bring somebody thing. else to host this show, <laughs> and then you can just That's be right. the assistant. That's See right. how that works. <laughs> All right, uh, we got a special on Sunday, uh, looking ahead to both finals at the Copa America and the Euros for ESPN FC. Coverage starts at 12 p.m. Eastern time, of course, here on ESPN Plus, as well as available over on ESPN2.